Hello, everyone, and welcome to part two of Irish Night. I am about to be joined by an amazing guest here soon. You just saw us over on his channel, Ed from the Rock Gut Review. Make sure if you're watching the replay to check out part one. I put a link to it down in the description below. We traced a bunch of really, really awesome Irish whiskeys. Some of them I didn't even know existed. So make sure you go check that out. Um, but tonight we are going to do something really cool. We are going to taste all of the cask strength red breast releases. Now, this is referring to the, the 12 years, the non-age dated, and the new small batch non-age dated, like I said, um, as well as the 14-year the small batch that came out last year. Oh, yeah, I got a bottle of that. So we're going to do that. I do want to do a couple annou announcements up front. Um, first of all, shout out to everyone here. So many faces here that I recognize, um, but also some new faces I've noticed over from Edstream. So if you are new here and you have a good time tonight, obviously, wave a flag. Um, but seriously, if you are enjoying the stream anytime during the stream, hit a thumbs up. It really does help out the channel here. And make sure to subscribe if you want to come back for more um, flights like this. We also do some other mostly bourbon stuff, but I like experimenting with Irish every now and then. Um, so I do have my four samples poured of these red breasts, um, but these samples are also topped with my Bourbon Bites Challenge coin, um, which by the way is now available to the public. This was a patron only release. Um, but my no match value, value coin is now available to everyone. Um, I still have about like 70 ish of them left. So if you are interested in getting those, um, you can always, I don't know if that code works. I tested it earlier and it worked earlier. So I don't know if it still works. You can send $20 to me on Venmo at bourbon bites and then send me a message either on Instagram or an email at contact at bourbon bites.com. And let me know your Venmo name and I will get a coin out to you. They are, they're very nice, especially luck of the Irish. You know, it's like, Real gold. Just kidding. It's not real gold. Don't sue me. But it's actually, it's really nice. It's solid metal. So these are all on all four of my sample glasses there. Um, shout outs to a couple people in the chat here. I see a lot of patrons. If you are not yet a patron, and you want to join our after party hangout, you can do that at patreon.com slash bourbon bites. Um, so those are for everyone that's $10 up. We're doing a hangout tonight, but we're also going to do a monthly hangout in a couple weeks um, over on, um, my discord server, which is bourbonbites.com. We call it the whiskey and gaming lounge. Everyone's welcome, not just patrons. So if you want to hang out with a cool community, go to bourbonbites.com and join our gaming lounge. So <laughs> she's right. She says, hashtag don't sue me. Um, shout out to some patrons here tonight. I see Adriana whiskey mountains. Definitely go check out her channel. Um, I also see Emily chambers. Awesome mod here tonight. Sugar kitty. Good to see you. Wesley Zeller, Don Nishida, run rev Collins, who I was just chatting to on our discord server. Two Dudes in a Brew podcast. Well, I said that really fast. Two Dudes in a Brew podcast. Go check out their podcast. They do some really awesome stuff. Um, James Taylor, good to see you um, here for a live stream. Scary Peeper. Scary Peeper actually is has sent me a blind flight. So not this Saturday, but next Saturday, we're going to do that blind flight. So stay tuned for that. Like I said, if, if y'all are new here and you're enjoying the show, make sure to make, sh make sure to make sure to subscribe down below. But without further ado, please welcome our very special guest tonight, um, Ed from the Rock Up Review. Well, I, I, like, I like you got the flag too. Like I know, right? Well, not quite as I bouncy feel, as mine, but I feel like I was being left out with with no flags. So I was like, yeah, gotta get a <laughs> I flag. Figured you probably had a flag around there somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so now it's just sitting somewhat uncomfortably on my tits. <laughs> it works. It works. So, <laughs> so like I said, Ed and I we just did an awesome stream over on his channel. Like I said, if you're if you missed that, make sure to click the link after the stream and watch the replay over on his channel. Um, we got to try some really cool stuff, including a Middleton that I was freaking obsessed with. That was so good. That was so good. Uh, yeah. So y'all make sure to check that out. But I'm really excited for this one because I have honestly been wanting to do this since I bought these bottles. But I'm like, nope, I will save it. I will resist the urge to do it until we are here with Ed. Now, I know you've already reviewed the new small batch individually, but have you tried them against four different other cast friends or three I other cast friends? No, so, and I'm super excited about this because I haven't had the 14 ever and it's been a while since i had the old 12 so this is going to be really cool to compare yeah so uh, so like i said we're doing four different ones so i'm gonna show you guys the bottles that we're going to be tasting through now these are blind so we don't know what's in what what we're going to do like we do with typically with my blind flights i always taste we always taste them first give first impressions and then i'm going to show you guys what the results are we're going to taste through them again and we're going to give it our order and then we're going to reveal to ourselves what we're drinking so our yeah. options are one of the ones we're drinking is this 2017 red breast 12 cast strength this is the bottle that made me fall in love with <laughs> irish whiskey i'm not even exaggerating 
Bless Excuse you. me. Sorry. I don't know the, don't know the <laughs> Irish word for bless you, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this bottle literally made me fall in love with Irish whiskey. I I've been obviously nursing it. There's very little left. I think Ed, like, honestly we'll probably if this one wins, you know what? I'm finishing it tonight. We'll, we'll do that. But um, we got that one. We also have a B2 2019. Now I've heard 2019 is when things went weird. This is just based on public perception. I don't know if Donald Rance is here. I feel like he was one of the ones that said that. But starting at the later batch of 2019, people say things changed. They say there's a little, it's not quite as good as it used to be. So we're going to find out tonight based on a blind flight. I also have the very, very special, also near and dear in my heart, the small batch cast strength. This is a was a 2020 release. Um, it hit very few markets. Um, California was fortunately one of them. This is the B batch. This is a 14 year old small batch um, cast strength release, um, not age dated, but they did say on the website it was 14 years. So it's it's not. Actually, I don't even think it's written on the. I want to make sure I'm right. I feel like it's written somewhere really small that it's 14 years old. I thought it was only in the press release, but I oh no, it's here. Age matured for no less than 14 years. So there you go. It's, right. it's hidden on this little side thing. It's so <laughs> weird, right? You think like, yeah, you that think big hole in the that. center. Um, and then the final one we're doing is the new 2021. Um, I realized that I'm half screen, so I'm, hopefully y'all saw the bottles. Um, this one right here, this is the new small batch, the blue label. Um, also getting a lot of um, mixed reviews in the press. Um, this one's $100. Those all were more affordable. The, the 14 year was also $100, but the 12 years were around 65, 70 ish in my area. Um, so we're going to do them blind and we're going to see which one we prefer. Let's so, do it. I'm excited. So I'm excited. So like I said, these are blind for both of us. Neither of us have had these. Um, we don't know what's what. I can tilt my camera down now. You see my fancy flags. Let me go. Let's go. <laughs> that. Let's do that. There we okay. Go. That'll work. See a little more. <laughs> yeah. Um, so while I make sure we get these poured, um, what are you guys in the chat? What are y'all drinking? Y'all still celebrating Irish? What is it? Irish week? Irish month? What are we calling it? Ed? Doctor Naguilga. Irish oh, week. That we're doing that. <laughs> But you said that started like beginning of March, right? Yeah, the Shock de Naguelga starts March first. Okay. So, yeah, March first to the seventeenth. So this is this is post. This is this is post Shockton, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and get all mine poured out and then put my uh like I said, burn my challenge coins to to top it off. So also a question for the chat. In addition to what you guys are drinking, have y'all had any of these? And what do you which do you prefer? Do you know? Have you tried them blind though? Because you, can you really know if you what you prefer if you I haven't know. tried it blind? It's true. It's so true. You would you were always like, oh yeah, I know what I like, but then you try <laughs> it blind and it's like, oh, I was so wrong. I was so very wrong. I was so worried because I have been battling allergies or a cold or something because i just recently traveled from the east coast and i think i think it's just the the, the humidity change like i was like mm. super humid environment now i'm back to dry in southern california i was so scared that i wouldn't be able to taste these but thankfully today i feel like 95 percent of the way better so i'm very glad that i can actually taste these now to do a little taste test i'm like can i taste these oh thank god they're delicious <laughs> well that's good i would be very disappointed if you couldn't I know. Well, I mean, to be fair, you, you, I mean, you had COVID, right? So like, I, I'm very fortunate that I'd have not, I was, to be honest, I was terrified. I was like, oh my God. Oh, I but know. Th th I was like, this is definitely just like either allergies or like a basic cold. Cause I got over it in literally like three days. <laughs> sure. Sure. So. Yeah. Yeah. No, luckily my, I'm, I had it bad. Like I was very uh, sick, but luckily I haven't had any long-term re repercussions aside from like, I had a couple months of chest pain. Mm -hmm. Like I haven't had anything with my nose and mouth. So that's that's I mean I've heard some people lose sense of taste for literal oh, months. I know. Uh Scott, I think. Scott from yeah, from Scotch's dummies. Yeah, he's been dealing with that since forever. Yeah. So yeah, poor guy. Brandon says it's all the California smog. I don't know. To be fair, I didn't get it till I got back, so maybe so. <laughs> <laughs> Um, people say, oh, I asked what they're drinking. I don't know if Mr. Whiskey says is just like saying what he's drinking, but he said Alka Seltzer. So maybe he's drinking Alka Seltzer tonight. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, you're feeling a little better there. Um, seeing a lot of things in the chat here. Cheech, thank you so much. Make sure to hit that like button if you haven't. Like I said, 38 viewers, we're off to a great start. I'm very, very excited. I hope we get some good information tonight. And honestly, you know, I don't know, who are you pulling for in this? Do you know who you're pulling you know, for? I honestly, like, my, my first love. Will always be the the twelve cast strength, the original. 
for mm-hmm. sure. So like, there's a part of me that doesn't want to be wrong and be like, <laughs> oh, wait, hold up. No. Right. But there's uh, also part of you that wants to be able to buy the good stuff, you know? Yeah. yeah. So, so I don't know. Like, I guess I really, I guess for the most part, I don't quite have a horse in this race because whatever I end up liking, I'm excited to find out that I like it. However, the only problem is there's no way in hell I'm ever going to be able to find the 14 year if I really like that. <laughs> and you know what? What's funny this store locally just got a bottle of it somehow or not a bottle got bottles of it somehow. I don't know how they got it like a year later. Mm. Um, they were selling it for 200 and let me be honest, I considered it for half a second. I was like, it's really good. But I'm like, I really don't want to justify that. Cause it's literally double MSRP. And I'm like, I really like it. But if you put it at that cost, I don't know if I fully, I don't know. I know sure, some people, I mean, it's probably sold out now, but yeah. that is fair. That is fair. But I'm I'm very excited for this. I mean, I've, yeah. I I like I said I kind of am the same way. I want to prove to the fact that it used to be really good, but I also want to be like, it's not that different, you know? Right? I know, right? <laughs> so I mean, part of me would love to be like, oh, it turns out the new small batch is the best of the bunch, and everyone's been wrong, you know? <laughs> I mean, but to be fair, that may, that would make sense because it's hundred dollars. I mean, the the fourteen year was also hundred dollars, but these, I mean, I don't know about in your area, um, the twelve year. How much does that run for in your area? Slightly less than the small batch. I think the small batch is like one hundred and five, and okay. the cast strength twelve is like just around a hundred. Oh wow! Okay, it's pretty expensive by me. That's it's very kind of very different story. because in Southern California, I mean, I literally, I'm not gonna lie, Cohen, who's in the chat here, I saw him earlier. He told me about the store locally because he lives in my area. We never met up, by the way, which I mean, we need to change that once COVID's over. But he recommended. He said the store had a sale on their. Um, red breast like their whole lineup for, for uh st patrick's day and i went and i literally got their 12 cast rents for 65 dollars, and nice. i was so freaking happy i was so glad to buy that one so that's what we paid for that um the small batch was 100 as well um what's up bill bill likes my hat I, i'm yeah. rooting for the winner here tonight that's kind of what i'm going with racing flag style <laughs> <laughs> by the way i didn't show off my shirt gotta check this out oh yeah 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 just- Makes me frisky, especially <laughs> this, the gorgeous comic stands there. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta check that out. This oh, is what happens when you go to Party City the day after St. Patrick's Day. It's all twenty five percent off. I think it's gonna go down to fifty percent off later this week. So if, you, if you're a little fan of Irish whiskey, go get your shirt. They got a cool hat that says the same thing. Seriously, I'm a budget guy, so I always go buy the clearance stuff. It's a smart move. It's definitely a smart move. All right, you ready to get into these? All right, let's do it. Let's do it. So all starting right. with A. Yeah, so sorry. Like I, like I said earlier, um, we're gonna once we taste through them first, we're gonna reveal to you guys what we're drinking, and then we're gonna sort it by our favorites. So let's start with A. Third plan. By the way, I like your challenge coins. Are those yours? Do you have those? These are not mine. No, I have a bunch, just a bunch from various people. I think these are all whiskey tribe. I've got, a, I think I've got mash and drum in here. Uh, a couple others. I got a big. I gotta, get you, I gotta get you one of my mind to say thank you for this. So uh, oh. look for one of these coming your way. So it'll it'll, it'll blend in nicely with those. For those yeah, of you that missed it, these are my challenge coins. They are based off of old arcade tokens because you know what we do here. We do gaming and um, whiskey. Almost forgot the whiskey part. I'm like what what? We are a gaming channel? No, whiskey and gaming. <laughs> so that's my theme with these. Like I said, if you want to buy them, Venmo at Bourbon Bites um, with the Y Bourbon Bites twenty dollars, and you'll get your very own. I like the nose on this one. It's it's I not know. as sherry forward though than than some of them. I feel like more fresh fruit than dried fruit. I, I will agree with that, but it smells so good. Oh, I'm just I'm like oh, this is my favorite already. I don't have any. Oh, uh, it's 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 great. It's hard to judge the first one too. I know, I know. That's always how it is. <laughs> Whiskey Mountains Adriana says, "Does he have a discount code for Party City?" Nope. I just literally went there literally two hours ago. <laughs> It's always awkward too, because it's like I know they're usually probably popping a bit more than now because people are actually having parties. But like I literally was the only one in the store, and they and I bought in, and like both there were two employees. They're like, "Welcome to the party," or like, "Welcome to where the party's at," or whatever their intro thing. It's like "Welcome to, to Moe's kind of thing. Sure. I was like, "Oh, this is awkward because I'm the only one here." I was like, Thanks. "I'm gonna go to your clearance section now." <laughs> <laughs> you can't just say hello. When would hello be more? Fitting? I know. I know. Man, this smells so good. Let's go to, let's go ahead and try it. Cheers, man. Cheers. Hmm. 
Oh, that's good. I know these are all going to be good, so it's going to be hard. Gonna be good. It's going to be so hard picking out which one's the best. It's so interesting going because on your channel, I don't. None of these were cast right that we tried on your channel, right? No, no, they weren't. So it's interesting to jump up. Not that these are as complex flavor wise as like the Middleton, very rare, um, but. Yeah. The cast rent does help out a lot. Oh, it definitely does. Yeah. And you definitely get, you get more, like a, the multi backbone is much more apparent. Oh yeah. That typical Irish shortbread cookie note, which I always, I love that note. Some of this that we tried on your channel, I didn't really get very much of that, but no. red rest is straight up, straight up like yeah. shortbread cookie. Well, I think that's because I feel like a lot of that, that pot still style from Middleton, especially defined mm -hmm. that shortbread note. Cause they were the only game in sure. town for a minute. Right. At least in the Republic. So it's like, yeah, they kind of, that kind of defined a certain note of what Irish whiskey was mm -hmm. or is. Uh. I'm adjusting my camera angle so people can see my flags. <laughs> 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 I want my freaking, my freaking $3 that I paid a party right? to no, be you recognized. You better, you better show them off. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Uh, I always can't say too much about sample A because you got to do it comparatively. Absolutely. I will say that I do really enjoy it. So a hundred percent. Let's yeah. go ahead and move on to B just to, you know, have something to compare it to. Exactly. Let's do it. Oh, okay. Different. Very different. Yeah. See, I'm not getting any of the fruit that I got on A. What was that? I'm yeah, not getting as much of the fruit, fruit at all that I'm getting on A. This is caramely. Yeah, I think the, the wood shows itself more than anything on this one. Yeah. Cool Running says, where are all the shamrocks? To be fair, I almost bought a shamrock hat, and I have there are these big shamrock glasses, but I'm like, <laughs> I was like, I got a budget here. I'm having to pay for this out of my own pocket. Although Patreon, you know what? I just I just hit like I think over three hundred fifty dollars on Patreon. I should have went all out, so I apologize. Um, I do want to say, speaking of Patreon, we just got our very first bourbon terabyte, which is Todd Koopa. I don't know if he's here in the chat, but y'all know y'all all know and love Todd Koopa. So as a bourbon terabyte, he gets a monthly tasting of a bourbon bite subscription box. That's subscription cool. box. That's cool. Got to do it with quotes because you can't <laughs> legally, you know, you know. But, but. Ugh. Yeah, no, that's a good point. The Shamrock is very much more St. Patrick, but I don't really have a lot of, like, I have one tricolor, and then I got up, like, this. I don't have a lot of the really twee stuff, so <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, and in fairness, that is kind of leaving out the people in the north of Ireland. So I did, for, for when we do our, our Jameson versus Bushmill stream, I did get an Ulster flag to, wow. to, show, to show my support for our good friends. Up in the north. And I know this is the provincial flag, not the Northern Irish government flag. I know, I know. People have told me that already. But don't worry. I was just it's nodding. I was, looking, I was looking at my own flags as I was nodding. Like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> as you can tell, Cliffy's a little bit here because we had just been drinking for an hour on his channel. So I apologize in advance. <laughs> <laughs> Cheech says, at this point, you've had a few pours. Don't forget the like button. <laughs> yes. As, as you can tell, as I'm literally bouncing my flags. Yeah. They got a good bounce to them. I like the that they're spring in there. Boom, go don't go, go don't go. Oh, taste wise, it's, it's very different. It is. This one is A and B are night and day. Yeah, they're so different, right? Mm hmm. Hmm. There is, there's no, there's very little fruit on B. On B, yeah, absolutely. But it's that's not a necessary. It, it's a bad thing in some ways because I like that that like sherry influence, but it's still not. I mean, it's still delicious. Like, holy crap, I like it a lot. Yeah, yeah. I what, think, what flavor do you usually typically go for with, with an Irish? Do you prefer like the fruitier ones, or do you prefer the more you know? Well, you know, it depends because I definitely do. I like sherry finished anything. Same. <laughs> right. Right. Um, and oh, I'm seeing people putting "to be fair" in the chat. Did I say it again? Shit. I've um, said it like three times. I apologize. <laughs> do they do that on your channel too? They don't. You know, I've heard you do it. I'm like, no one's called me out on that yet. So. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I, I love sherry finished stuff. So I generally like anything with some, some fruity, some raisininess. 
Mm -hmm. um, including Irish. But the one thing I do like about, like the thing I like about bourbon finish or bourbon aged Irish mm -hmm. is you get super tropical fruit, right? Mm -hmm. So I, I do prefer like the fruitiness, but like generally it's got to be a certain spicier kind of fruitiness. Sure. You know what I mean? Well, so uh, the reason I, I've only tried, I think honestly, like pro I've probably tried two of the spots. The, like the green spot, yellow spot. I've had, I think the yellow spot and I had like one of the, the finished green spots. I don't know if I particularly love, like there's a coconut note on those. And I know, I know you mentioned coconut on the ones we tried tonight. I don't particularly love that one. Oh. So I, I oh, to be fair, I, there I go. Um, <laughs> totally I would love better. to try, I would love to try the blue spot. It has not hit our area. Has it hit your area? I haven't seen it. And I'm sure Maybe. once it does, it'll, it'll disappear very quickly. I'm, I, I want to give it a second shot and try that one because I've heard so many amazing things. Yeah, yeah. You know, I am looking forward to that quite a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, although, uh, unlike you, I like the coconut note. and okay. I, I, coconut I know a lot of people do, yeah. Yeah, on Green Spot, and, and there's quite a few bourbon, either bourbons or bourbon-aged stuff that I get a coconut on note on. So Right. Yeah. So I'm a little, I think I'm just a little sensitive to that particular note. Yeah. And I know a lot of people, you know, that's the big debate. Like, do you prefer the red spot or do you, or, or sorry, red breast or do you prefer the red spot? And I think it's, it's all hinged on that tropical note. Mm. Again, I don't hate it. I just would prefer the more traditional short bread kind of note that I get on a red breast. Sure. So. It's interesting with B compared to A. I do get a little bit of the, of, well, it's definitely short bread -y. Certainly. Mm -hmm. And there's a touch, touch of that darker fruit just on the finish. But the front end is all caramel and oak, like a very, like a very fresh vanilla kind of oakiness. Man, I mean, I feel like I, I thought I would miss a lot of the sherry kind of note I was getting on the first one. I don't know if I miss it because it mm -hmm. this was packing a punch in its own way. Sure. Yeah, it definitely is different. It definitely, yeah. definitely and we can go, we can go back and eat. A and B, A and B later on. Oh yeah. But it might as well move on through and let's move on to C and see how we think that affect that, how that see what C is C. I don't know. I got no oh, man, I thought you were gonna recover because I just screwed up my transition. I was like, he's gonna I do it. Oh, he screwed up too. Uh, let's move on to C. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, this isn't jumping out of the glass as much as the other ones. No, definitely not. Hmm. It's it. It's got a little bit of the fruitiness I got on A mm -hmm. from the nose, but you know what? It's also got what is that? That it's sometimes some whiskeys have. It's not smoky exactly. It's not a smoke note, but it's kind of like a funky. Uh, what's that called? I always call it Hessian, but that's not what most people call it. Uh, I don't know what that is. <laughs> burlap, burlap. Okay. Kind of, kind of like a, a funky burlapy note. I, I kind of get that. It almost, you know, what I was mentioning. I don't know if it was honestly. I don't remember if it was this stream or the other one. I was talking about like sometimes the older red breast get kind of like a funky kind of. I always say like a sour note. There's yeah. a little, little hint of that on that one. So I don't know if it's the same thing you're getting on it or not. Could be. Could be. Yeah. Kind of that wet. I always, yeah, like I say, I always say wet burlap or wet hessian. I, I'm i not very familiar with that that note. So, you know what? I, I might agree with that if I knew exactly what you're getting on that. <laughs> uh, I'm very curious why Chris saying he's got to pick up five Xboxes from FedEx for some bottle deliveries. Are you are you, are you you the one that's like hoarding all the Xboxes, Xbox One X or whatever, and the PS5s, <laughs> and you're trading them for bottles, Chris? Fess up. Tell us. The black market of, of exchanging there, Xboxes. There. Oh, trust me. It's there. Uh, oh, James Taylor thought I was. I was. He, I was saying that I was tasting German. German. <laughs> it's got a. It's got a no, note of uh, of what was what it? Berlin with just a little bit of Bavaria. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? I, I would disagree with you on that too. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't tried it yet. Have you tasted it yet? I did. I did. I tend oh, okay. to, I'm jumping the gun. Sorry. No, no, you're good. You're good. Because I, I was just making sure.
my mind is still blown by how different these all are. Yeah. No, for sure. Oh, wow. That Oh, hmm. This is going to be a tough ranking, I tell you. Because they all have something that, like, I like about them that are unique to just that one. Yeah. Uh, this one goes almost raisin. We said raisin earlier. I almost get some of that raisiness on the finish on this one. Sure. Sure. Yeah. I would agree with that. I think this one runs a little bit more. This is a darker. This is a darker kind of sherry. Oh, absolutely! It's real dark. I had to, I had to search deep to find that. That is. This is more nutty sulfur sherry than it is bright fruity sherry. Chris clarified. He meant five boxes, like X, <laughs> not X boxes. Okay, five times boxes. Gotcha. <laughs> I was like, I was like, you know what? I got a PS five, so I don't need to worry about that. But <laughs> PC, PC for life. I mean, to be fair, I'm a PC guy too. We bought a PS5. We weren't planning to buy one. These guys, these guys know, but we weren't planning to buy one. But um, my husband woke up from a nap one day and he loaded the GameStop website and it said in stock. And he's like, "Should I buy it?" I'm like, "I mean, yeah, obviously, you could at least flip it if you don't. If you don't want to keep it, we yeah. keeping it because I mean, we ha he's a P he's a P PlayStation gamer, so sure. he's had the PS4 Pro and all that. So we have a PS5 now. However, we're still not quite using it to its advantage because there's not very many games that are you know. Yeah. For that, but I'm glad we got one. I'm I'm a PC guy though. Let's be honest. Yeah, yeah. that's fair. Uh, oh, everyone's going Ferda and to be fair. In oh, the, they're they're going in the chat. <laughs> How did that originate? Was that was it inside joke? Like, what's going on? It started out as a Letter Kenny reference. Okay, because they always go to be fair, mm -hmm. but then it very quickly became apparent that I use to be fair to start. So many sentences. I mean, but like, you know what's funny is I've been the one saying it tonight, not you. So <laughs> I think it must just be a whiskey tube thing, maybe. Right? Right. You're you're like, okay, I get this note and this note, but to be fair, there's also and this. You know what I think it is? Honestly, I've thought about this before. Not just that there's like another phrase that's very similar that I hear people say all the time. Um oh man, I'm trying to think. Those of you that watch Perry from This is My Bourbon Podcast, he always says something. It's similar to to, to be fair. It's like a and I think what it is, is because we know that all of this is subjective mm. and we're trying to phrase things in a way that it's not like you're wrong. I'm right. It's like, I get that, but this, sure. and I feel like that's why we say stuff like that a lot. Cause yeah. okay. We're not trying to step on anyone's toes. Like you get this cool. That's awesome. You get that. I'm mm -hmm. not right. You're not right. It's just all subjective. So right. I don't know. For sure. That is something <laughs> I feel like you don't, you never want to come off as imperious and know it all on Whiskey mm -hmm. Tube because mm -hmm. everyone has a different opinion and you're you never and no one is ever right. It's exactly. always you just gotta find who you align with. I mean, there's certain channels that like I watch them because I enjoy watching them, but I know if they recommend something, I gotta get a second opinion because I'm like <laughs> someone else that I like my palette aligns more with. No, for sure. I definitely, I definitely get that. Robotic with the first super chat here tonight. Robotic says, "Wait, we gotta do it. Deep. Well, how do you do it? How did you do it? Do it. I'll, I'll, I'll be do it. Fair. Fair. There we go. There we go. Not, <laughs> not quite harmonizing, but you know what? For you, robotic. Um, that actually reminds me. So, robotic. Um, not 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 directly to you. Um, this Saturday, I'm going to be live from Las Vegas. That's right. I'm doing another slot machine." um stream which some of y'all like that some of y'all are like what the hell is he doing but i love one of my favorite things to watch on like on on youtube is like these slot channels that do like slot machines like film their like their pools and stuff so this saturday i will be live from the cosmopolitan in las vegas y'all know that people that have been there before super chats to come through make me bet more money so if super chats come through on saturday if you send me a five dollar super chat you know i'm betting five dollars on that machine so Sorry, that just reminded me that I need to shout that out. So if y'all want to see that and you're not yet subscribed, make sure to subscribe because those are a ton of fun. Cool. Have you been to Vegas? Are you, where I'm, are you? I'm not much of a gambler, I got to say. I, I okay. Yeah. I am, but it's like, I don't take that much money to Vegas. Like, I'm, I like limit myself to like $100-ish a day. So I'm not like high roll or anything. But sure, sure. It's oh, also no. an, an hour flight away from me. And literally, we weren't going to go. But we checked Southwest yesterday, twenty-seven or no, twenty-eight dollars each oh, way to Vegas. Thanks. 
So $28 one hour flight for, we were literally staying one night, but I'm like, that is pretty damn good. Yeah. Just do it. Why not? It's $28, you know? Yeah, for sure. So anyway, sorry, sidetrack. I got distracted. Sorry. Yeah, um, no, no worries. What are your thoughts on C compared to the rest? It's different. It's definitely different. I will say it's a little spicier. And I think I saw, yeah, Cohen says I'm gambling with my liver. I like to keep my vices <laughs> to things I can put in my, my own body. <laughs> um, that's but, a good point. Good point. Uh, um, but C, I was going to say, was it's got more fruit than B. Not as fruity as A. Yes. And it certainly has a little bit more. And I think I think someone said mustard in the chat. And I was like, yeah, it's kind of a mustard, mustard. and spiciness. What? I need a to try to see. By the way, hi, hi, Trev. Sorry I missed you coming in. <laughs> mustard. Yeah. What? On C? Like a slight, yeah. Like a slight mustard seed spice kind of thing. I'm, I'm dead serious. Is that what I call the 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 sour funk that I get on these? Because it mm, that's the only thing I don't I know, man. Say. It's hard. <laughs> it's hard for me to say, man. <laughs> that's I'm, no. I'm I'm actually seriously considering it because I get a funk on this, mm. and I associate it with that like sour wood note that I get with the older ones. But maybe gotcha. it's a mustard funk. I've never even considered that before. Could be. Could be. I, I get mustard with particular whiskeys. Like some rise, I definitely get like a mustard, a ground mustard seed kind of thing. Mm. Um, and this one just a little bit. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> sure, Kitty says at this point his liver is down to $80,000. Well, yeah, right. Well, my liver makes more money than I do. That's all I got to say. <laughs> Maybe we should share. <laughs> exactly. All right, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and move on to D. Let's see what we get. This. I mean, to me, this one looks darker. It could just be me, but this one looks the darkest of them all. Yeah, this and this and C seem like the darkest. Well, I think so. To me, at least looking at my glasses, I think this looks like the darkest. A is second, C is third, and B is fourth in terms of color, which mm -hmm. doesn't necessarily mean anything, you know? Right, especially with Irish. Right. And not. All right. Oh man, this on the nose. This one's back in fruity territory. Hold on, I just just got a blast of alcohol. One <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, first thing, of all, I, I, to be fair, I do. To be fair, I I do take it off and I let it like just like air out of it before I take <laughs> before I go back into it. Yeah, yeah, that one that just hit me straight in the nose and it's just like mm. alcohol and sawdust. <laughs> huh. Uh. Ooh, I'm mm, on the nose. I'm feeling something with this one. Which one are you comparing it to? I'm just, I'm just going down the line, smelling all of them. Okay. Don't splash on your face like I just did. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah, this is. Hmm. This is interesting. Hmm. See, to me, this one is like the fruitiest of the of them all on the nose. That's just what I'm getting off of this one. It's interesting. I think it makes a like the a is quite fruity, but it makes the a smell super like candy fruit, like almost fakey uh, fruit. Whereas this one is more like dark, dark, like a natural ripe plum kind of fruit. Oh, I yeah. Yes. I just went back to A after you said that. This one's like, yeah. This one's like, plum is a good way to put it. I mean, I, I would personally say raisin because I get, I'm more familiar with like a raisin kind of note. Sure. This one is way more natural than A. Yeah. A, a has kind of an artificial. Sure. A is like a sugared, sugared plum. I don't know if that's a thing. No, I know sure. sugar, sugar, sugar plum. plum fairy. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. I don't know. I totally get that. A is way sweeter. This one's more of like the, the, not sour, but like the ripe, the ripeness of the fruit. Sure. All right. Yeah, I, I gotta try it. Cheers, man. Yeah, let's do it. Cheers. Mm. Ooh, interesting. Man, these are all so different. Oh, this is gonna be tough. D is fantastic, though. It's really good. It's really good. D is fantastic. Uh, I think maybe on the taste, that may be the best of the bunch. Maybe. Well, we'll, oh, okay. we'll get to find out. We'll go back. That's and your first impressions. 
Um, Adam Terry says, which one are we on now? Well, Adam, we are about to reveal to you guys which one is which. We are not going to look. Um, so we've tasted through them first. So you, you, first impressions, you think D, D is it for you. I think um, so. My first impressions, I feel like I might be leaning towards A. But uh, D is a close second. I really like what I'm getting on D, too. Yeah. So, all right. So, like I said, what we're going to do is we're going to reveal to you guys what is what. So you'll have to pay attention to this. Please don't okay. Please don't post it in the chat if you see it. Oh yeah. Don't, don't reveal to us because we're trying to keep it blind until the very very end. So, but this is for you guys, so you guys know what we're tasting through as we do a final comparison of all these and pick our absolute favorites. So, all right, Ed, look away, right. close your eyes. I'm gonna look oh, away man. too. Just give me a thumbs up in the chat, you guys, if you guys can see this and you're good to go. I believe these are page by page. This first one should be the A result. I'm not looking. Wait, let me let me switch. I'm gonna switch my view to just focus on me. So Ed, you're still here, but I'm gonna like focus on me real quick. Okay, okay, there we go. All right. I believe this one is A. It may be hopefully it's A. <laughs> let me know if you guys are good. This is A. Let me flip to B. I'm not looking myself. Wait. It's hard. I honestly drums and drams had an awesome thing. He had a really cool, like um he had these like black note cards that were really cool. I believe this is either B and C or just B. Um, maybe. Okay, I got a thumbs up from the first one. So I think this might be B. Next page. All right, this is either C and D <laughs> or it's just C. <laughs> Again, I don't want to spoil it and look at it. So, all right, okay, that was just B. Gotcha. This is C. And this last one will be D. I believe this is D. I am not looking. I cannot verify if I am right or wrong. So if you guys are good to go, say hell yeah if y'all are good to go in the chat. Or heck yes if you are, uh, um, you know, preferred not to use the Satan's name in vain. What the fuck? Okay, Ed, you can look You can look now. Okay. Oh, wait, someone said I covered C. Someone said I covered C. All right, Ed, close your eyes real quick. Just I'm going to make okay. sure that we get C for the person that missed it. Okay, one, eight. B. Okay, no no looking Ed. Here we go. This is I'm C. They looking. said I was covering this with my finger, so I'm gonna show it again. This is C, I believe. So all right, everyone's good. Everyone's good. Okay, okay, we're good. Okay, Ed, you can look now. All so, right. Oh, give me a hell yeah. <laughs> there we go. We got a lot of heck yes. There are some heck yeses. So I I you know what? Someone censored themselves, Adriana. So we're there we go. Yes. All right, so. Let's go back through them. We're going to find out which ones we prefer. So, like, now that we tried them all, should, should we do them backwards or should we do them forwards? What do you think, Let's Ed? do them backwards. Yeah. Backwards? Okay, so we are starting with D this time. Yes. That's On the nose, this nose is like, man, this nose is fantastic. Mm -hmm. I think the nose, for me, is more almondy. The taste mm. is more fruity. More raisin, plum on the taste, more almond on the nose. Kind of a marzipan thing. Mm, I see that. Man, I might change my opinion to agree with you because I mean, on the palate, I will say this one: the finish isn't the most long. It's a little pretty short of a finish, I think. That oh, I'm still made you small. My bad. Let me fix That's it. fine. There I'm we fine. go. <laughs> Adrian, I said you may add equal size now. Sorry, I wasn't even looking at the screen. <laughs> I was still in my like, don't spoil it look kind of mindset. <laughs> That's good, but I mm, maybe it's the proof. Maybe that's the lower proof of the four. Could be. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I like let's, it. let's, I like that one a lot, but. let's taste through all of them, and then once we know like our top two, let's let's narrow it down. So let's go ahead and move to C. Yeah. Coan, I see you talking crap in the in the chat. I see you. <laughs> Cohen says, "I just figured Ed was covering his eyes to <laughs> contemplate why he ever drinks Irish whiskey." Oh, I like I like C two though. I don't know that reference Donner Pass, but I'm gonna go with it. Hmm. <laughs> C goes back to the traditional what I consider like red breast, like that shortbread kind of cookie. Yeah, it is much more shortbready for sure. Now I know you and Erica disagree on which one you liked of the. The two that you guys tried. So, yeah, because we were doing the new cast strength 12 mm -hmm. and right. 
So that was the 2020 branch, which I like. I know other people haven't liked it, but I did. Yeah. Um, and that was against the small batch. She liked the small batch a little bit better. I was kind of a split decision. So Adam, Terry, and Bubble Bath both asked the same questions. We, we mentioned this early in the stream. So I, the one that's labeled as old, that is a batch one 2017. That was the Irish whiskey that made me fall in love with Irish whiskey. The one that we enabled, labeled as new is a 2019 batch two. Yeah. So that's the point that I think a lot of people said it went downhill. So, And you can always check on the front yeah. your batch number on the new packaging anyway. I was trying to it feature was... you, but I clicked the wrong button. Wait, hold oh, on. Just... Wait. I want you to show because I don't have the boxes. So let me let me put oh, you okay. up there. So yeah. yeah. So yeah, so you check right there with the circle. Yeah, the circle yeah. shows you which batch it is. So yep. Yep. Uh oh, apparently B2 2019 was the one people disliked. And that's the that's the reason I included it. Yeah, that was the one mm -hmm. people disliked, but you know what? I'm I put it in this because we're gonna see yeah. how it fares. Exactly. I will say though. I don't think I disliked any of these. None of them were bad, no. No. Not at all. Um, on C here, I like the nose of C a lot. Nick uh, says, none of these are red breasts. They're all proper 12. <laughs> <laughs> so you like the nose on C, you think? I like the nose on C. I don't like the taste as much, though. It's C got falls a little flat for me, and I think maybe that's what you're getting on, too. I was thinking it's got that little spicy note that is okay, but it doesn't play that nice with the rest of the taste, that shortbread, caramel. You know, it just doesn't. I don't think it's it's as cohesive as B for sure. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. All yeah. right, let's move to let's move on to B. All right. Ooh, whoa, on the nose, this one I feel like is opening up. B is easily the weirdest of these ones. Like it is the, weird, yeah. but I think it's because like it, I feel like it's devoid of fruit, and that's what makes it weird. It is. It's it's really got no. Well, I mean, maybe a little bit, but it's yeah, really, yeah. It's not like devoid, but like comparatively. But like, yeah, super caramely, vanilla, oaky, as opposed to the more fruity ones. Like, I've got to guess. If I had to guess which one this was, I don't know if I'm allowed to do that. Go for it, because we'll probably have the same guess. I think this is the new small batch. I, I that's also my guess. Yeah. However, I, I think it has something going for it. Mm. If you're not looking for that sweet berry kind of sherry kind of note, yeah. it's fantastic just on its own. Like, sure. And I think that was a disappointment because a lot of people. I'll tell you the rumor that that I heard in my local group. So, when this new small batch came out. First of all, a lot of people thought it was just replacing all of the 12 year. They thought they just got rid of the 12 year age statement and they put out a small batch. Right. Being in a market that had the one from 2020, the small batch, by the way, this is batch B if anyone happens to have a bottle. I think this is what they were experimenting with that and they put it out. I think it's a completely different product from the standard 12 cast strength. Yeah. Now, will they discontinue the 12? Maybe. You know, we don't know. We don't know. But mm -hmm. this is unlike. This was definitely unlike the other ones. And you said that about C, though. I feel like B is the most unlike the others. So. Yeah, no, B is definitely the most unlike. You're right about that, for mm -hmm. sure. I think C is a little bit different, but no, B is B is its, its own thing entirely. Yeah. Um, and if it turns out that's a small batch, like, I, I, I don't think it's bad at all. I think it just mm -hmm. wasn't what people were expecting and what people... Light and people were looking for that really rich sherry note that the 14 year had and i was looking for that too i'm not gonna lie i was looking for that too but if you take it on its own for what it is what i have like we reveal we, we don't know the results we haven't let's, even revealed it yet hold, we our, hold our judgment okay we let's move wait. on to we a wait. this is yeah. a yep yeah, a i like a a lot no, this is the one that I said was my favorite. You said D was your favorite. Yeah, I'm I'm trying to decide between the two. They're both good. Mm. <clears throat> oh, down the wrong pipe. <sighs> mm. That one is like strawberry. Like if I have a yeah. name, that one is that one's like strawberry shortcake. That is a much brighter mm -hmm. 
wheat or fruit. Absolutely. Yeah, Adriana says before the reveal, you got to give us your order. Oh yeah, we will. We'll give you our order for sure. All right, now's the time that we A, B, and pick out pick yeah, out our favorites. So yeah, I think I've. Okay. I think I, I think I have my order. Okay. Well, while I deliberate, um, question for the I don't have a question for the chat. Ed, do you have a question for the chat? <laughs> what what should they chat about? Um, why are you all so awesome? Why there you go. And why are you all here on a Thursday night? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, if anyone's if this is your first stream watching me, I go live after Ed every Thursday night. So if you enjoy Ed like as much as I enjoy Ed, um, make sure to check out. <laughs> make sure that sounds like I was like backhanded, like complimenting, like like check out me. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> I go live after you. Every... Right. Check out this guy over here. He's awesome. <laughs> thank you, thank you. That's what I was trying to fish for. No, I'm just kidding. No, but no, seriously, we go live back to back every Thursday night. So if you had fun here with both of us, then I think you'll enjoy. If you're if you're from my channel, you'll enjoy his channel, and if you're from your his his channel, you'll love mm, words. I, yeah, I told you, I struggle with English, Ed. I can't do the can't do the Irish. <laughs> I think you you got your your point across. Point is across. Okay, good. Okay, I think I've got it. I think I've got mine. Do you? Okay. Yeah. Got to do one more little A B. Mmm. 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 Wow. Okay. Sorry. So I'm, I'm in my own little world over here. Yeah. I freaking love. I'm sorry. I love red breast at Castron. I'm just like loving every single one of these. It's so good. It's so good. It is just amazing. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna put mine in order. So go ahead and reveal your order. I'm gonna um while you reveal that I got I got a couple more to try. <laughs> okay. So my order, last, like, one I like the least, two best. Um, and to be to be fair, to be <laughs> fair, drink. Um, these None of these are bad. I don't think any of these are bad. They're all good. There's just that a couple I think I like slightly better. So my last, I think in last place for me is C. Then B. So B is second. I think the only reason I liked the nose on C a lot. Mm -hmm. I like the the nose on C a lot. But there was something weird in the taste where that spicy bristle didn't quite match up with the rest of it, and it kind of was incongruous. And just talking little... about, you're talking about C. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, B is not like the other ones, but it's still pretty good. Then A is my second. A okay. was super close to being number one, um, except it's not the, the fruit on this is a little bit more fakey, kind of sweetie, and not as mm -hmm. like that dark fruit. And I think okay. so. D won out just for having that super dark fruit, like just a really nice, thick, dark fruit. So that's that's my order. D, okay. D is my winner. I'm very close, and some of these are so close. I like them for different reasons. My least favorite is also C. Okay. Not that it's bad, but in comparison to these three other whiskeys, it kind of pales in comparison. Mm -hmm. I think mm, this is the tough part for me. B and D are so different. However, I think I'd give the edge to B. So I think D is my third place. Now, again, that's not shitting on D. D is fantastic. Yeah. I really, really like the top three. Honestly, I would buy all of them. Again, no, no hate on C. But the top <laughs> three, I think, are fantastic. So that puts that puts B as my second place. A is my first place. So we we, we were pretty – we weren't yeah. close, but, yeah, we, we agreed on C. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So A was your first place? A was my first B was yeah, my second, D was my third, and C was my fourth. And what was yours okay. once more yeah. again? I'm sorry? What was yours just one more time so before we reveal? D, yeah, D, A, B, C. Okay. So let's re let's reveal C first. So okay. Let's find out what that was. I feel like I'm pulling on bird box here with trying to figure out which piece <laughs> is what. So I think this is C. We're going to find out. I could be wrong. I could just reveal the wrong one. Okay, here we go. Here we go. C. 12 year. Oh, what? Wait, what wait. The fuck? Which this is, is my favorite. This is the 27 
Oh, this is the twenty seventeen. Past the twelve year. Holy fuck! What the fuck? This is, this is the one that like everybody loves. It's the one that I loved. <laughs> Oh, now I want to be like, wow. I want to pour more. You know, I got to pour a little more. I got to, mm, I got I to gotta see what's going on. Oh, Audra says she's hilarious. been evilly giggling. She's been giggling about this since I revealed it. Oh my God. I was like, wait, do you, does he mean the new 12? No. No, no. The old 12. The old 12. No. No. Look at that. That's crazy. I mean, I, I guess we did say this was the most different of all of them, which wouldn't make sense because it is from 2017 and it's older. It's the most different. I mean, it's different in still being very much like other red breasts. The, the what was this? Uh, B was still way different, but like, yeah. I don't oh, know. I, you know what? I just tried it. I just tried it and I still stand by ish what I said. <laughs> I mean, ah, uh, okay. Yeah. All right, I, gotta, I, keep going. I gotta say. It's, I it's gotta keep good, going. Man. I gotta keep going. Okay. So yeah. my third place was D. Yours, your second place was... No, wait. Your first place was D. My Hold first on. place was D, yes. What was your third place? My third place was B. Okay. Your third place was B. My second place was B. So let's go ahead and reveal B. All right. B is... Small batch. Okay. Small batch, the, the newest release. So yeah. yeah, that was your third place. That was my second place. You, to be fair, I I dig it. I think it's it's different for sure. It doesn't have any of the fruitiness that we were getting oh, on the yeah. other ones. But it's it's a solid product. I mean, yeah. I, I I like the spice. Honestly, proof wise, I I did want to wait till I revealed it to see what it was. Proof wise, this one is what is this one? Is it fifty eight point seven? Yeah, fifty eight point seven proof. So that's pretty high. Yeah. No, and it's a whole different product. It's a very much more of a bourbon influenced product. Absolutely. That's not a bad yes. thing, though. If you like those, if you want some vanilla caramel, that's not a bad <laughs> thing. Yeah. So okay. So that was that was your your third place. My second place. Oh, my third place. Let's okay. reveal your second place. Second place. A. Your second place was A, right? Yeah. That was my first place. Let's let's go and reveal A. My first place and Ed's second place is. The new oh, 12 year. The new 12 year. So that means. <laughs> that means we both are wearing a little bit of uh, egg on our faces because that means I picked the 14 year as my best. <laughs> and I've always. And you know what? I love that bottle so much, Ed. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. And like I said, I don't want to say to be fair because we've said it like a billion times. I this know. Stream. I know. D and B for me were flip flop because both of those are really good for different reasons. They taste sure. like completely different whiskeys. I love that the the extra like umph that the B had. Like I like that extra proof kick that it had. Mm -hmm. But D, I agree with you. Like it has a lot more of the natural fruit flavors. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Oh man. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry for the, the the my my previous favorite, which was the C. Wow. I mean, I, I I will say the 14 year I do think is better than that old 12 year cast strength, sure. but it was just like I that was the one that made me fall in love with Irish right. whiskey. So yeah, well that's the thing. Like nostalgia can can cloud your mind sometimes. You know, you know it's not bad whiskey, but no, like, no, not at all. I mean, yeah. honestly, I would buy any of these, even though I was like, oh, forget C and C and C is the like the, my favorite. That so was like, oh shit. I know. I know. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, no, I've always said like 12 years old is as old as you need to go for, for red breast. And this 14 year, nope, this 14 year was better. For sure. I told you that 14 year is fantastic. Again, yeah. when I didn't do it blind, that was my favorite. So the fact that you picked it blind, it just re it reassures, you know, yes, maybe not tonight was not my night for that one. But I think that was a fantastic, yeah. I mean, holy crap. Now, would you, okay, question for you though. Would you pay two hundred for it, or would you pay the hundred MSRP that I paid for it a year ago? I would pay a hundred. I don't. I would not pay two hundred. I don't think I would pay two hundred either. And that's how I feel. Like it's it's great. It's fantastic. But two hundred. Two hundred. No, two hundred is too much. Yeah, Donner Pass says blind gives a completely different perspective. Oh, it sure does. 
Um, there was a question from Brandon earlier. I missed it. Um, he said, never heard of the Castrant small batch. So that's the new one. The new one is just labeled as small batch. There's no age statement at all. It's the blue, the blue topper here. Um, Ed did a full review of it over on his channel. So if you didn't, if you haven't seen that, please go watch it now. Okay. Which one did you pick? Cause I know, I know Erica picked a different one than you picked when you did Erica the likes the small batch. She really okay. likes the small batch. I mean, but she loves bourbon and bourbon aged stuff. See, I think if Erica was here, I think I'd agree with her. Like we are, or would have been probably pretty similar. I feel yeah, like. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Probably. And she does, she doesn't care for sharing stuff like I do. She's okay with it sometimes, but yeah, she didn't like oh. it. Speaking of which, my friend Aaron, he's actually the one that gave me the sample of the Red Brush 27. Oh. <laughs> he said that the 14 year is his favorite Irish whiskey, beats out the Red Brush 27. Again, this was blind. I did put it in third place, but it was a very close third and second. So, no hate to the 14 year. The 14 year, if I could buy another bottle for $100, I would buy it. Yeah. You know, but, this 14 year was fantastic. I, I really like the 14 year. Yeah. Well, I guess that does it. I mean, I am shocked. But you know what? This is why I wanted to do this because it's it's yeah. it's enlightening. It really you know? is. Yeah, you don't realize how much your own little, you know, your own preconceived notions influence you when you're tasting it. You know, not right. blind. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I guess that wraps us up here tonight. Like I said, I'm going to go live on Saturday from the fabulous Las Vegas for a slot pool stream so if you are interested in that and even if you're not interested in that trust me that's just like a rare like <laughs> out of nowhere stream so if you like the whiskey streams definitely make sure to subscribe if you're new here definitely check out ed from the rock gut review please check out his channel i put a link down in the description below to our part one but also if you're if you're not subscribed there please subscribe to him i think you're one of the funniest guys on whiskey tube and I've, I've said that over and over again but i seriously think it's true well, thank you. Appreciate it. Um, and Erica, you and Erica, your dynamic together is freaking hilarious. Oh, I know. She plays such a good straight man to me just being a jack. <laughs> <laughs> so please check them out. Like I said, they go live the hour before me every Thursday night. So if you're not watching anything in that hour, go check out his channel. Make sure to hit his bell button so you get notified when he goes live. And then hit my bell button. Hit my bell. That sounds weird. Hit my bell. Get notified when I go live after him. But until next time, thank y'all so much for watching. This has been Bourbon Bites Whiskey Reviews with a Gaming Twist. I'm Clifton, and this is... Ed. 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 <laughs> Cheers, Ed. guys. Happy St. Patrick's Week. Um, yeah. And we'll see you guys next stream. Cheers. Absolutely. See you Cheers. Thursday. Bye. Bye-bye.